All right, welcome. This is Joey once again from DeepScopeRecords.com, and uh, today we're going to talk about phase reverse. Have you ever um, recorded some drums? You're working on a song. This mostly occurs with drums, but it does occur in other places, which we'll we'll talk about in a second. And uh, no matter what you do, your um, your drums, your snare drum in particular sounds thin it happens with the bass drum it can happen with the times but it sounds thin you're in there you're eqing you're adding all kinds of high end um trying to get that snare to sound you knew it sounded great when the drummer played it the snare drum sounded great the performance was great but it just doesn't sound right it might not necessarily be something a a, a, a mistake that you made in recording the snare drum um, anytime you have several mics on an instrument, you're going to get something called phase cancellation. And what happens with that is, um, the mics are aligned in such a way that you, you get, um, timing and polarity differentials. And essentially what happens is you lose all the low end of the instrument. Um, there's things that you could do. You can move the mics, but oftentimes you want to mic a kit. So a, the drummer's comfortable and B so that, um, the drummer could set up the way he plays and you might the kit according to the setup. And sometimes that doesn't always, um, allow you to move the mics around, um, so that you can, you can get them in phase. There's two ways you can fix that. One, um, if you know what you're listening for, if you even catch it, um, during the tracking process, you can um, flip a phase reverse on your preamps or your or your um, or your 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 uh, console, your board if it's got one. Or there's a real simple way. I'm a big proponent, as you may have seen in another video that we did on the trim plugin. I'm a big proponent of using the trim plugin for adjusting your settings. You can watch that video at deepscopebreakers.com to see other reasons why I do that. But another reason is, is that every trim polar, trim, <laughs> trim plugin has one of these um, phase reverse switches. And you have polarity problems with your snare drum. It sounds thin. You just flip the phase. That's all you're doing is just pushing this button. There's also, um, you know, in the out in the studio um you can get um phase reverse attachments for your cables like i said your preamps might have a phase reverse switch but you hit that phase reverse switch and all of a sudden boom it puts the microphones back in phase with each other uh, and you get that low end back in so if you're having trouble with your snare drum it can happen with the kick it can happen with the tom um it can happen between the bass and the kick uh it, it is probably not don't go eqing it to death Turn your EQ off and flip this phase switch and see if it makes any difference. Now, I chose this song because there was some um, phase, phase, phase issues and it's slight. Sometimes it's slight. It, it can vary. Sometimes it's slight. Sometimes it's a lot. Um, this one had a, some phase issues and the, this is the way I test this. The first thing that I do when I mix is I usually start with the drums, depending on the song, but most of the time I start with the drums. And the first thing I do is I solo the snare, I solo the overheads. Let me turn this down. See if that's enough here. Let's go down a little bit more. Okay, and I listen. Turn this up a little bit. And then I go up here to my trim plug-in and I flip the switch. This is the overheads and the snare plane. This is the with the polarity flipped and this is the way it came in recorded like this. And now we flip the switch. And you can hear when I turn the switch on, the sound fills out a little bit. And that's what you're looking for. If you flip this switch 
and the sound fills out and sounds fuller and richer with more frequencies, then you've got a phase, a, a little bit of a phase issue there, and you can just flip the switch and bam, it's fixed. Um, the other um, ways that you can uh, have those issues, I don't have any um, any stereo instruments on here, um, but you might record in stereo, you know, A, B, X, Y, and so on and so forth. And you've got two mics on an instrument, and they might be um, a little bit out of phase. Uh, maybe, you know, if you line them up right, they won't do that. But maybe you had them a little off or something. And you can try flipping that, that phase reverse switch. Once again, it's right here. And that trim plug-in is on the multi-mono plug-ins. This is something that I have set up. Um, and it's down here on the other, on the multi-mono plug-ins. And... It's that simple, folks. That's how, that's how you fix that. So that's phase reverse. And uh, I really don't think there's anything that we need to say about that. But um, it, it'll solve a myriad of problems for you. Um, and you might be frustrated thinking it's your drum miking techniques. But not necessarily so. It happens. And uh, you can just fix that, like I said, either in the studio. Or you can just put this trim plug in here and fix it. Oh, and there's one other thing with this phase reverse switch. There's also one in some of your delay programs. And one day, if you're using a stereo delay, flip one of them and see what that does to your uh to your to your uh to your delay. I don't use it all the time, but it's a neat little effect. It's a neat little trick um, that you can do and it might be desirable, something you want to play with. It really it makes the Almost makes the delay sound like it's um, in 3D gone on behind you. So that's something. Uh, that's another place where this phase reverse switch is, and you can mess with those in a stereo delay and flip one of those and see what that does for you. So that's about it. My name is Joey Ricardo. Uh, I operate DeepScopeRecords.com and DeepScope Studio mi Professional Mixing and Mastering in New Orleans, Louisiana. If you've got any questions on recording, mixing, or mastering, or you'd like me to work on one of your projects, just uh, email me, DeepScope at DeepScopeRecords.com. Uh, the advice is free, but of course, if you want me to mix or master your projects, um, I do, I do, uh, do excellent work at reasonable prices. Um, and you can reach me, www.deepscoperecords.com. See you next time.